Hello guys and welcome to the grand finals of the spring tournament for battle for middle of one on the patch 2.22 this time on the beautiful map Firian deal we will be playing Mordor against Gondor and will make it happen but Mordor couldn't in the films and defeat the white city okay and as Kofmok would like to say the age of man is over the age of the orc has come if you don't know Firian deal is a map which is added to the patch 2.22 and unfortunately Unlike in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, you cannot just simply copy paste the maps. This is not gonna work out. You need to retexture them every single time. But luckily for us, we have a great team. Uh, Dimek is our mapper. He's doing a phenomenal job. And hopefully, in long terms, we will be also able to implement more maps. Not only for the 1v1 scene, but also 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s, and all that good stuff. We're finished digging the old pit. Hi. Okay, so early on we need to play a bit more defensively. On this map you have actually three settlements at the beginning of the game. And uh, we can put pressure with the Golem. Okay, so the plan is to catch those soldiers. If you don't know, Golem is faster than peasants and orcs and soldiers. And we can be annoying with that. Okay, nice. Oh, we can also dance around the Rosie and not let him capture the settlement, by the way. Watch this. That's it, waypoints. Boom, 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 boom. And dance around the Rosie. And the good thing is, during all this time, we are untouched, you know? And we have three armor mills. Oh, hold on a second. He's actually bursting us. Hold on, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, let's go. Minus 200 in your bank, brother. Okay, guys. For this move all alone, you gotta make sure to leave a like on this video. What a phenomenal start into this game. And I needed that. I needed that because this guy, my opponent, is actually pretty strong. And... Uh, you know, we need some advantages to actually win this game in long terms. But that's a huge start into the game. Not only we are untouched, but also we denied him 200 resources, which is a lot at the beginning of the game. That's awesome, dude. And we will be able to fill up the base in no time. You will see the power of Mordor or Isengard, the evil factions, if you cannot hurt that economy or the game. And you will get this insane amount of... Uh, you know, wood bonus, making all your structures much, much cheaper, and you will grow rich because you can build them in a few seconds. You will be building a full base before he gets any gondonites on the field. Okay, he used heal, that's okay for me. Uh, we can just build more. Look, we are growing rich. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to actually try to steal the creep or the money at least from the creep, that would be nice. And even though you might say, but Shanks, you cannot deal with the farm, it's okay though. I mean, the thing is, I don't want to deal with the farm. I want to actually keep him busy so he doesn't take down our settlements. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, good. Harder in Paris, I think, is better here. Nice. So this way... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that was close. Dude, that was really close. <laughs> but I'm fine, I didn't... Oh, I took my money. I'm fine I didn't steal the creep because he might have called it GG, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want this game to be over yet. I mean, we are in a phenomenal spot. Look at our money, dude. We have Troll Cage, we have a Haradrim in Paris, we have three untouched settlements outside. We are Bill Gates of Middle-earth. Okay, I mean, he has cloaked the Hobbit, um, that's fine. And we will have Haradrims just in time to deal, to deal with the level 2 soldier. Haradrims are actually dealing a great amount of damage to Swordmen. But you want to make sure to keep your distance. So, you know, you want to make sure to hit and run. You don't want them to get to close the gap and take down your Haradrims. Because Haradrims have almost no defense. They will die in a few seconds and you want to, you know, keep your distance. He has two level 2 soldiers, but it's okay. We will have a troll on the field very soon anyway. And even now, even if he actually destroys one of the slaughterhouses, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. We can replace it in a few seconds. No problemo. Okay, the level 3 soldier is going to be taken down. Once again, Haradrams are hitting like a truck. And, uh, oh. I mean, it's okay. We can also deal with that one. No problemo. And we will have also a troll on the field very soon, right? So it's, it's okay. So we should be in a very, very good spot. Um, on this map you have two outposts, so basically as Mordor against Gondor you want to make sure to capture those outposts and then you can build additional orc pets on this outpost and yes, orcs they don't add too much value to the strength of Mordor in the mid to late game but keep in mind that you generate power points from losing orcs 
which is a very good thing because normally uh, you know not normally but always you know the power points in the mid to lead game are essential especially for evil factions because for example mordor can get darkness industry power spike which will help us to recruit the nazgus a bit sooner to get witch king on the field way faster oh oh take this punch boom on your face son Troll doesn't want to joke around. Is he going to lose the gun tonight? Come on, Troll. Hit. Punch him one more time. Punch him. Hey, don't moonwalk. You are driving me crazy. Nice, Troll. Okay, we are best friends again. That's huge. And we will get the money. I mean, he got the last, but it's okay. I mean, I'm assuming he will rush Gandalf against us, which is definitely a great call from him. Because without Gandalf, he cannot really play the game anymore. I mean, you can obviously recruit Farami and Poromi, but I think Gandalf is essential. And that will force us to retreat all the way to our castle, unless... We will be able to capture some outpost, which will be also very nice. So let's do this. Um, okay, we will be recapturing the settlement, and I want to buy this outpost actually. But I, I don't want to put those Haradrims in because they are badly damaged. No, I want to bring a new battalion there, and we can creep this with the next with the other troll. Um, okay, I mean the problem is he's killing them, so I think we need to capture this now. I cannot bring it another one because I'm kind of poor, right? And the outposts are a bit more expensive now. They used to cost only 600 in the patch to 1.06, but in 2.22 they are a bit more expensive because outpost control is essential and the problem is they are so cheap and affordable. And now they are a bit more expensive. Nothing to crazy 100 more resources is definitely affordable, but it makes it a bit more challenging to capture them all. And look at the Skondonites, they cannot move. Maybe Haradrims can kill them. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Shoot! Oh, that was really close. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm expecting a Gandalf very soon. And that's when you realize, okay, I mean, the thing is, if you don't see upgrades from your opening, then you need to understand what he's aiming for, right? He's trying to go for Gandalf. Which will mean for us that we need to achieve as much as we can until Gandalf comes. Because once Gandalf is on the field, we will definitely keep losing a bit more map control until we get our Nazgul or Witch King up on the field. I mean, this is a bit annoying though. Now we gotta put those two Haradrims only <laughs> inside the outpost, but it is how it is. We can also build the Orc Pit and spam Orcs. Orcs, Orcs, Orcs. We have two power points now, which is amazing. We can also creep this one, get now the industry unlocked. And oh, not the eye. <laughs> Dude, I. <laughs> I misclicked. I misclicked. I wanted to use industry. Dude, my fat fingers. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes your brain is working way faster than your hands. And that's exactly what happened to me. Okay, I mean, it's not a big deal though. We at least got almost a level 2 troll. I mean, the Eye of Sauron, besides giving us increased damage, but also gives us increased combat experience, which means our units are going to be able to develop a bit faster. In this case, 50 person faster. And once again, the more levels you have in this game, the more stronger you will get. So level advantage, massive. Let's get the money, and we are in a very good spot. I mean, the question is, when is this Gandalf gonna come on the field? That's the big question, and I'm assuming it's gonna happen very soon. And for that reason, I don't wanna actually risk the biscuit. And we can kinda slowly start retreating a bit. Oh, okay, look, actually, the Eye of Sauron came in clutch. We were able to reveal the Invisible Hobbit. The Peregrine took, the Full of a took. I mean, he's annoying, though. He's annoying. He kills those males all the time. I want to recruit some um, soldiers of Rune, but also what I want to do is, actually, I want to start saving up for Nazgûls and Witch King. And Nazgûls and Witch King are so good in every single matchup, in every single map, in every single situation. And in the worst case scenario, what you can do with them is you can defend yourself against the horses of Gondor when they want to go for a base rush. And yes, Gandalf can chunk them with the Easter Light and hurt them a lot, but he has only one Easter Light and he has only one Gandalf, so he cannot deal with two of the Nazgûls and the Witch King at the same time with only one hero that's not possible. I mean, the problem is we need to be careful with the, with the trolls now because we have no drama troll yet. And without Drummer Troll, these trolls are gonna die like flies to Gandalf. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What can man do against such a reckless seat? Okay, at least we lost only one troll, but it's it's painful, you know, because trolls are so expensive units. You don't want to lose them for no reason. Oh, can I cancel? 
Oh man, dude, I'm feeding him now. A lot of power points for no reason. If you don't know, guys, those structures, like the sentry towers from every faction, but also the statue and the well from Gondor and Rohan, they give so many power points. So, long story short, if you want to deny your opponent to get a lot of power points and experience points for the units, you want to make sure to demolish those buildings in time. And within time, I mean pretty much instantly. The way it works in Battle for Middle Earth 1 is if a building drops below 50% HP mark, uh, your opponent will get experience and power points no matter what. So, with that being said, keep in mind that if you want to get some money back from demolishing your buildings, but also if you want to deny your opponent the power points and experience points he's looking for, you want to make sure to demolish the buildings before they hit the 50% HP mark. It's essential. We have 4,000 in the bank, and the soldiers of Rune can put up with pressure because the Gundam Knights cannot deal with them, but Gandalf can because the soldiers of Rune, they are, a, they are very, oh my goodness, they are very weak against Gandalf or against heroes generally. I mean, Gandalf has no counters, right? So basically, Gandalf can kill everything that's make, that makes him simply to the very best hero. He's the only one who can kill Balrog as a hero, who can kill EOD. You can kill Nazgûs, Witch King, Eagles, Army, Horses, you know. There is nothing Gandalf can't kill. They're attacking us. So there we fight for more. And like I said, as you can see, we are losing map control and outpost has been taken down. That's not the best thing in the world. We will have a Nazgûl though very soon on the field. And after the Nazgul, we will be going for the Witch King. And also, I think in this matchup, we also need to recruit uh, some Muma kills. Because Muma kills are, a, are one of the best counters to heroes. So, regardless how strong your hero is, if a Muma kill steps on you, you will die. He's gonna miss that. Okay. So, Lightning Sword can hit also flying heroes, by the way. And if it hits, it, it hurts. It hits like a truck. But now it's on. Oh, okay. The screech is not gonna work because Gandalf gives you fear resist. And please don't die. I just got you on the field. Hello, darkness, my old friends. <laughs> That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. These new orcs smell as bad as the old ones. I mean, obviously, reviving Nazgûl is for free, but. They also cost a lot of money. And we need Witch King. So he has captured the outpost. And I would like to take it down. Uh, but I don't know if we can with three throws only. I have no clue. So I don't want to risk it though. The problem is, if we lose our trolls, we will give him a chance to actually go for the castle. And I don't want it to happen. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he wanna... Oh, what is kind of doing? Should double... Move. Oh my goodness. Hey, are you been trading me? Dude, he's not a paid actor, but what was that? Dude, Gandalf is like, kill me, brother, kill me. I want to return even more white. <laughs> what is happening? I mean, okay, thank you very much, I guess. What can I say? We can kill them, no problemo. And uh, let's go ham, let's go ham, let's go ham. Oh my goodness, my drummer troll. Dude, what am I doing? What am I doing, actually? I'm, I'm making so many mistakes. My, I... <laughs> Uh, with Mordor, that's the one thing you need to be sure about. You need to always take, you know, take a look into your uh, leadership prop, leadership system. So you want to make sure to provide as much leadership as you potentially can, because without leadership, your trolls are gonna die in a second. So it's essential to support them with additional DPS. With Drummer Troll, oh, there is a Farami. Can I kill him with? Oh. Oh my goodness, he's killing one of my trolls. Oh, troll! Troll! He's getting invisible around the trees. Shh, dude, please! Paramir is showing his quality, but not in my team. He's showing it in the enemy team. Paramir. I will call Denitor and tell him what you are doing to me. <laughs> what are you doing? This guy is getting on my nerves. He killed so many trolls of mine. He killed my drummer troll. That's going to slow me down. But on the bright side, we have almost Witch King on the field. And that's gonna be a huge power spike because with the Witch King, we can then use Darkness, Witch King, Drummer combination and commit on the outpost. That's the strongest you can get with the Trolls. You cannot get any stronger. So you need Witch King, Drummer plus Darkness. 
and I of Sauron, obviously. And then you will not only hit like a truck, but you will be a truck as tanky as a truck, you know? It's gonna be a very, very good power spike so there we fight for Mordor. The enemy is in our camp. I mean, he's annoying now, though. He's annoying now. And Nazgul needs ages to be recruited. Come on now, Nazgul. And that's the problem, you know, with the Nazgûls. That's the big problem, or Because, you know, sometimes I wish I would be able to pay money for them. But then, you know, recruit them a bit faster. But you can't have, you can't have this option. So you either have to make them for free in a longer duration for the for the revive time or you just make them expensive but a faster duration revive them come between the nazgul and his prey do not come just between arrive. the nazgul and his prey Defend the camp. die now fool no man can kill me I mean, my Witch King impression, though, is not, it's not bad, right? So I could maybe make a voiceover for the Witch King, for the Lord of the Rings, the, uh, the, the re return for, of the King. Okay, two power points collected. I wish he could make, like, a film of Witch King, you know what I'm saying? What happened in the Angmar and, you know, all that stuff. Like, the history of the Witch King and the Nazgûls. Like, I think there is so much content still available for the Lord of the Rings, uh, of the books. Just like around the one ring that is going to be a series obviously in the in the amazon prime as you guys know but i think there can be so much more like a mini film mini series of the of the nazgus of the engma faction what happened in the first age something about the valars you know what i'm saying something about Eru, 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 iliwata okay dude uh yeah we keep losing map control but i want to commit now i want to commit now boys yeah, we want to make sure to send the drummer first because drummer the thing is drummer cannot charge but trolls can so if i send drummer first i can still close the gap and the distance between the drummer troll and my trolls with my with the charge but i don't want to lose my drummer troll once again this guy is stabbing my drummer troll every single time but now he has leadership too okay now it's time boys it's time to rock and roll it's time to rock it's time to shine bright like a diamond let's go okay so let's go ham boys uh we need to kill the Citadel. That's very important because he has archers inside of that and shooting us down all the time. So we need to make sure to kill the statue and the Citadel. That's very important. I see the minimap. I see what he's up to. He want to go in inside the jeans very soon. But I have a Nazgul and a Witch King I can send back to help. I want to make sure to kill the outpost first. That's very good though. I mean, he won't have any more ranges on the field anytime soon. And that's why you should never build an archer range at the outpost against Mordor. It was a mistake from him. Um, the production buildings, in this case, the buildings you, you need to use to recruit units from, you want to build them inside your main castle. Because there they have the better protection and uh, there is a chance you will eventually never lose them. Oh! Okay, he missed it. That's good. Uh, that would be bad, though, if he can, you know, hit the Witch King with that. My Nazgul can be killed now, but it's, it's not the end of the world. I have a Witch King. I want to gather as many power points as I can. So, killing those Golden Knights is very good. Because... He has only one Faramir. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, he cancelled it because he doesn't want to take too much damage from my runes. And we are killing all his high level Gondonites. We captured the outpost and now it's time to make some Mooma kills, boys. It's time to make some Mooma kills. He's gonna kill my Witch King now, though. Please don't. I think my Witch King is gonna die. Okay, never mind. He doesn't get the chance to use the Easter Light on him. <laughs> I was playing with fire. Oh, he has some ranges here from the special summon, but I should be able to take care of them. No problemo. And now it's time to rock and roll. We have seven power points collected. We are 13 power points away from the from the Balrog summon, the demon of the ancient world. But we also gotta take care of the map control. That's very very important, as you guys know. Um, because our trolls and Mooma kills they are very expensive. So we wanna make sure to get some more money. I mean, later on, when we get enough power points for the scavenger and also for the for the devastation. Oh my goodness, he's annoying this guy. Oh, Gandalf, you don't want to do this, my friend. You don't want to do this, Gandalf. Faramir, you don't want to do this either. Faramir, Faramir, you will die. Faramir, I will punch you in the face. Faramir, you oh one shot, the one punch man. Did you guys see this? The troll is like slapping him out of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Boromi would have been able to survive this. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I feel so bad for, you know, for Far Faramir because nobody deserves a dead like Faramir has. Okay, nice. So we have eight power points collected. It's time now to get some uh, archers. And if you are wondering why, it's because I think he will have the eagle special summon very soon. And then you want to have something that can deal with the eagles. Because regardless how much damage and armor leadership you have on your mountain trolls, Eagles are hitting very hard, and they will be able to kill them, which means, you know, Gondor will be even able to gather more power points from it. Long story short, in order to kill those eagles fast enough, we will need to get the orb pit to level 2 for the fire arrows, and that's why you need to recruit archers, because they give the orb pit much more experience in compared to orc warriors. So, it, for example, needs like 12 orcs to get to level 2. I don't want to lose level 3 slaughterhouse though, but he has level 9 Gunner Knights, man. I should be able to deal with this, no problem, right? Yeah, he needs to retreat. It's a level 3 building. It's much, much tankier, obviously. Oh, can I please dodge this? Dude, he missed again. That's very good for me. And the thing is, killing those level 9 Gunner Knights gives us so many power points. The higher level the stuff is you are killing, the more power points you are gathering. So you don't want to lose those high level units you're opening. That's why, and if you don't know, guys, I get the, I get asked the question, you know, quite a lot of times in my Twitch live streams. Uh, Shanks, why Balrog cost 20 power points and EOD only 10 power points? Is simple because evil factions they are able to get power points from losing units, but good factions they don't, and that's the main reason. And also, I have something in my mind to make the EOD and Balrog a bit more expensive, guys. What do you think about that? What do you think about EOD instead of 10 power points, 12 power points, and Balrog instead of 20 power points, 24 power points? What do you guys think about that? I think this... Because I believe they are so boring, you know? Like, this ultimate summons EOD and Balrog, it feels like they are like a huge cheat to kill the enemy castle or the entire enemy army over and over again and once you unlock them everything is evolving and based on the cooldowns of these two insanely strong pa oh! <laughs> hey this kind of be careful son what you step on you see my mummy kill he's hungry for some wizards he didn't eat any history in the past 1,000 years? Get your bows. Okay, that's the time for us to shine. Knowing that Gandalf is on cooldown and Gandalf is dead gives us so much freedom. And freedom, and you gotta play around certain cooldowns. So basically, you know that Gandalf is dead, that he needs to invest multiple minutes to get him back on the field. And that's the time for you to use your Nazgûl and Witch King to gather as many power points as you can and get closer to the Balrog Special Summon. We are looking very strong. The thing is, I don't want to overcommit though. Because I don't know, first of all, how close he is for the Eagles, and I don't know how many archers does he have on the field. So I don't want to make a mistake and overcommit, because losing my entire army will give him not only insane amount of power points, but also give him the chance to go for a counterattack. Oh, but he's feeding. Oh, he summoned the Eagles. I take it every day of the day, every day of the week. I take it every day of the week, but I don't want to lose my Witch King. Can I attack something to make him fly faster? Witch King, fly faster! I clicked you there! Fly! To Faramir is slaying my Witch King. And showing his quality. Hmm. Um, not good. So we get to revive Witch King. <laughs> The good thing is, he has eagles on cooldown, right? For the next big fight. But me losing the Witch King is definitely... You know, Witch King is your MVP from your mortal army. And he is the most important hero at the same time. Most important unit at the same time. And you, you don't want to lose him. Especially because it takes ages for you to get him back. But he has nothing to deal with my Nazgul. So I can gather even more power points. He has very highly leveled Gunner Knights. Oh, he has the Ranger Special Summon once again. Mm -hmm. um, we can use Darkness here eventually, but... <sighs> so we need to kind of go down. I didn't want to go down. I wanted to actually use my Moomer Kill to attack his main castle and the Trolls to destroy his outpost, but I think I gotta take care of my own beast first. So... And this is painful, dude. Me losing the level 3 slaughterhouses, this really hurts. Hurts a lot. 
And oh my goodness, the, the chunk from the warning arrow. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. This Faramir is actually crazy, dude. Punch him on the, on the ground. Oh, Faramir. Revenge. Taste. Good. We have 15 power points in the bank. So I, I don't know how close he is for the for the AOD. So we have seen him using the Eagle Summon very recently. And he killed my Witch King with that. And he just killed the Nazgul. They also get, get you know give a lot of power points. But I don't know how close he is for the AOD. Hopefully he won't have AOD summon for my Balrog. That's the one thing you can, you know. Basically, it's like a tricky situation. If you use AOD against Mordor's Balrog, then you have no AOD to finish off his base. And also, AOD, even though it's insanely strong, it's not very good against Mordor because AOD cannot, you know, attack the flying heroes. And that's once again a reason why Nazgûl and Switch King are so good. And if you use the AOD for defense, that doesn't mean that my Balrog instantly dies. So I can still do stuff with my Balrog, right? I can still at least use Breathfire one single time. Still deal a lot of damage to your structures. Hurt your economy a lot. And on top of that, I will also force you to I summon your AOD. Uh, that would be low. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Means a lot. They're attacking us. Defend the camp. Okay. We are very, very strong, boys. We are very, very strong. Sauron will rule this land. I mean, if you are wondering what is Shanks waiting for, I'm always waiting for my for my Witch King, you know? Without Witch King, it's very risky to make a move like that. So I want to now have two Drummer Trolls, and that's also essential. You want to have two of them. This way they can give leadership to each other. And become more tanky. Rammer trolls are, you know, like a sportive unit. But if you have only one of them, your opponent can just hard focus them down, and then you have no more leadership available. And this is the most important leadership for your army. Okay, I don't know how close he is though for the for the eagle summon. Um, but we are only four power points away. I'm assuming for the next uh, during the next fight, we should be able to get enough power points collected. What is this? What is he doing? I'm gonna charge him down. All right, let's go ham. Let's go ham. Oh, he is disengaging. Um, I want to make sure to go ahead with the combos first. Oh, that's very important. And leave some defense in the base for the worst case scenario. So I don't need to fly all the way back to the witch with the witch king, you know? Because he might go for a bit. Yeah, he's very smart. He want to gather power points, and that's why I need to demolish those buildings in time. Okay, um, he has nothing to deal with the Witch King though, I mean, my Witch King can do whatever he wants. He can Easter Light him, but that's all he can do, and we need to dodge the Lightning Sword though. We need to dodge the Lightning Sword. Nice, we dodged it, that's very really good. Now we can keep doing it, because he can Easter Light us all he wants, but it's not gonna one-shot my Witch King, right? So I can... And that's the only thing he has left. Lightning Sword is on cooldown, and Easter Light... Has been just used, and we have many, many runes on the field. And look how many power points we are gathering. He was even forced to use heal. The outpost is under our control, and we will also take control of the second outpost. I want to make sure to get Witch King back in here before engaging. And also, Darkness is on cooldown. I don't know how good this is going to be. I have no clue, and I don't know how close he is for the Eagle Summon once again. But now we have started, and we're gonna make. Oh my goodness. He's having another army there. Okay, we can take care of the outpost, though. He's demolishing the buildings. That's very smart from him because we are really close, but he doesn't demolish the well, which means we will get a lot of power points from it. Once again, well statues and sentry towers, they give a lot of experience points and also power points. We gotta make sure to not let Gandalf to do what he's trying to do. Oh, Gandalf, he's playing with fire. Oh, my Witch King died in the meantime. I didn't pay attention, but we killed Gandalf. I take this tree because my Witch King can be revived for free, but he's... Gandalf can't. Yes, Eagle Summon. My combos, they are getting knocked down and the Drummer Trolls are fighting. You don't want to fight with Drummer Trolls. If you fight with them, they won't give leadership and my darkness is like one second off. 
we can now commit and take down the outpost though. That's very really important. And then we can summon the Balrog right after him to try to finish his base. Okay, um, please. Okay, Haradams are shooting us, as you can see. Uh, that is destroyed. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hope you're going to enjoy your stay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, we can also pick up the scavenger. But I, I want to actually capture this castle if I can destroy it. I'm trying to kind of aim for the eagles, but it's, it's easier said than done. So I want to charge now. Mumma kill can be engaging or raging when he's on fire. And now we can also attack his castle with the other Mumma kill. So we can attack his castle. Um, we need to have vision control for the Balrog summon. But yes, again, he eagles are gone. And that means our Nazgul can clean up those units no, for no reason. I mean, <laughs> there is no defense. And let's buy this and go. And hopefully we will be able to break one part of his wall, guys. It's going to be pretty nice. Um, you guys can capture some map control for us. There we go. The soldiers of Rune. The men of the East. More movement kills. I mean, we can use Screech, right? Could be in a good spot. Remember the Screech um, or the Fear Effect in BFME 1 or the patch 2.22 are affecting now units when they are also level 2. That means for the automatic Fear Resistant, your unit has to be at bare minimum level 3. At bare minimum. Okay, so let's summon the Demon of the Ancient World. I summon you to fulfill your oath, Balrog of Morgoth. He's annoying with his Gondonites, though. Okay, so now just look my breath fire, guys. You want to kill this first, one hit, you see? Then you move a little bit, and you want to use breath fire. And with the breath fire, you want to uh, take down the five buildings behind. You saw that? We have taken down the marketplace and all, every single uh, blacksmith in there. Oh, he has summoned the EOD for whatever. That's a mistake from him. Like, because my Nazgul cannot be targeted by the EOD, and he has only one single Gondonite, so the one single Gondonite can't achieve too much for him. There is no way. He killed my runes and stuff like this, but um, you have not the army you need to capture or to destroy my base. So Devastation, this way we have over 5,000, which is going to be needed to buy the castle the second we destroy the castle. This castle cannot survive this. If Mumma kill in there... Oh, he summoned the Gondo Cos for it, and Rohan will answer a moment. But we can also take care of them, no problem. The Nazgul counters them all, and that's how strong Nazguls are. Okay, we have still time with the... Oh, look, you want to kill my Mumma kill, but I will land on your face, son. I will land on your face. Oh, nice. We kill them all and just buy the castle now. Get map control and... Yeah, this should be it, right? We have also Scavenger. We should be able to defend the beast, no problemo. He has no more stable, he has no more Gandalf. GG. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure to leave a like on this video and also subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic time. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, guys.